Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Australian edition of Outside and Stuff. Today we are down or up in... <laughs> we are in far north Queensland, uh, Australia, in the Daintree National Park. Yeah, we're here at the uh, Coolkey Day Use area, and today we're going to be summiting uh, Mount Sorrow. Jen, tell us some stats on Mount Sorrow. Mount Sor Sorrow is not a terribly long hike. It's uh, to the summit, it's about 2.3 miles or so, 2,200 feet of elevation gain. And that doesn't sound like a lot uh, to mm. our American <laughs> ears, yeah. but it's all in a World Heritage rainforest. So it's really hot, really humid. We have four liters of water a piece. Yeah, look at these bags. Um, <laughs> normally we wouldn't be kitted out like this, but we have four liters of water each. Uh, it's 28 degrees Celsius, so that's all. That's roughly 90 something. 80. It's gonna be even hotter. Uh, it is 8.30 in the morning, and uh, we came here from Port Douglas, which took us about an hour and a half by car. And as you saw, we went over a really cool little cable uh, ferry. But yeah, we have uh, long sleeves on. We had to put um, bug spray all over our legs for leeches. Oh yeah, yeah, it's a rainforest. It's the middle of the wet season and leeches are a big thing here. So they say to wear um, long sleeves, long pants, spray your shoes and your pants and all of you because we get eaten by bugs all the time. Yeah. So spray everything down with bug spray. Yep. Well, uh, it's only gonna get hotter so uh, we're gonna head up the road here and then get to the trailhead and start our summit attempt. Let's do it. This is us. things. Everything has spines and hooks and they all don't want you to go. Oh. Okay, so we're about a third of the way into the hike and we've done a little over 600 feet gain. Um, but this point here is kind of like the, the little hump before the devastating push. Uh, so far, this is um, one of the most challenging hikes I've done, only because it's 100% humidity and uh, there's almost no breeze and uh, everything doesn't want you to go forward. What do you think so far, Jen? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's about what we got. All right, let's keep pushing. <laughs> One point, two more to go. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, it's uh, three point, what was it, five kilometers, Jen? Yeah. 3.5 kilometers, so we just have to do that 2.5 more times. Yay! Yeah. Oh.
So we keep seeing these markers. Uh, from what I've been reading, they're actually relatively new. This trail didn't used to be marked at all, and in the past couple decades, people have started putting up reflectors. Um, we've seen the pink ties all around. The reason they're doing that is because this place is really easy to get lost in, and a lot of hikers have actually wandered off trail and either gotten lost for a couple hours, a couple of days, or not come back at all. So they really warn you to be prepared, pay attention to where you are, and like stick to the track whenever you're hiking here. So we're gonna not get lost because we're gonna follow those things. <laughs> What's this? A view? Almost a view. Oh. It's pretty. Okay, uh, we are an hour and 40 minutes into the hike. We have done half of the gain, uh, and I'd say we're a little over two thirds of the way, distance wise. But we're just gonna keep pushing up. It's gonna get more and more steep from this point on, the next 600 feet gain is gonna be a lot of fun. Let's continue. Oh, let's get going. Mm -hmm. All right, hold on. <laughs> All right, uh, we get to go up this. Might not look like it, but it's steep. Jen, show us how steep this really is. Wow. I am going to demonstrate, hopefully without... Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry, sun, here we go. Hopefully without slipping back down and knocking you over the cliff. All right. Everything is wet and muddy. Jeez. Oh. Yeah. A lot more where that came from. Holy moly, this guy, I don't know if you're able to see him. <sighs> oh. <laughs> oh. That's the biggest, biggest one I've seen. Yeah. Oh, he's like bigger than my hand. Oh. All right, Jen, gracefully, uh, Remove some of his webbing. All right, watch yourself. 
Jen's removed a portion of the webbing. He's still there. Won't have too much work to do. These trees are so cool. Okay, this is the fun part of the show. Um, behind me is a rope to help you get up. And uh, up first is Jen. All right, Jen, let's see what you got. Give me a moment. <laughs> oh, all right, we're gonna take another five minutes. <sighs> all right, I'm gonna film myself going halfway up so we can then see uh, Jen coming up and passing. So uh, let's let's do this. Oh yeah, look at this. It's just a wall, walls of mud. All right. Okay. I need both hands here. Sorry for the shake. All right, here's a halfway spot. Hi, right, Jen. All you. It's not that terrible. The hardest part <laughs> is finding a place to put your foot that's not slippery. Yeah. Which isn't very many places on this trail. Getting mixed up in the roots. Pressing on nicely. Nicely done. Bit of bit of boulders there. See how she handles those. Okay. Puts trust in the rope. And she is up. Nicely done, Jen. Alright. Let's see if I can catch myself falling off a mountain in Australia. Ropes, a little broken out here. At least the rope's not encrusted in mud. We have that in the Pacific Northwest. A couple of rope climbs, just sheer mud. All right, and through the uprights. Grab some leeches? Yeah. Try not to. Ah.
So Jen. Yeah. Where did uh, Mount Sara get its name? <sighs> Captain Cook named Mount Sorrow. Uh, I wasn't really paying too much attention when I was reading about it, so I don't remember all the details, but I guess when, uh, when he came here in the Endeavor, I guess he hit a reef or something? Anyway, he had to hole up for a while um, to try to repair his ship, and while he was there, he named uh, Cape Tribulation, Mount Sorrow. He basically gave all the places names that had to do uh, with his horrible ordeal. <laughs> Did he summit Mount Sorrow? <sighs> I have, I, I have no idea. I honestly don't know. Um, I guess this is a very, this whole area is like sacred, Aboriginal um, like heritage forest. <laughs> so uh, they probably summited this. Oh, of course. <laughs> They're much more hardcore than we are. Yeah. But I don't know about Cook and his crew. Yeah. All right, let's continue on. You don't see this too often in the Pacific Northwest, but this is a uh, coral. You can tell by all the little growth patterns in it. Uh, there's a lot of coral rock up here, uh, 2,000 feet above sea level. This is cool. <laughs> this is amazing. Go on and get inside of it. Check for spiders first. Mm -hmm. I'll just draw it over me like a cloak. That is pretty cool. I don't know if you guys can tell, but they're just big, thin roots, like bat wings. mountain into the trees.
got one. That is a leech. Felt like something biting me, and there you go. Yeah, kind of stings. Well, we're almost to the summit. Let's go, and then I'll get the uh, lighter out. Okay, so this is kind of painful. Uh, it's not that painful, it's just like a weird pulsing pain. Um, it's a small leech. So uh, we're gonna get out the lighter and get rid of him. Okay, I don't know where my lighter went. So I'm gonna try spraying DEET on it. And see if that... Yep, there he goes. He did not like that. <laughs> oh. Go on, get off. There you go. Deet or lighter, that worked pretty well. But man, that's a lot of blood. That was an experience. Um, Jen had one on her belt that was wildly searching for human flesh. Uh, they crushed it and then flicked it. So they're either coming off of uh, these leaves, dropping from the trees, or or who knows, it was weird. Uh, I think it was on my belt too. And my hand went down, brushed my bag, and it like just hooked right on. Whew. But we're almost to the summit. We're gonna get up there and then uh, do a leech, leech check. Oh, what is that? I see something, Jen. <laughs> oh, it's a platform. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Oh, yes. <sighs> the trail keeps going, I think to the true yeah, summit. To the boulder, which... Are we going to go to the boulder? We're supposed to, well... Okay. They say it's not to be missed. Okay, we're going to the boulder, but this is the platform. Let's take a look around. Okay, we are continuing on to the boulder. Uh, we hopped over the railing, and now we're just taking this trail along the bridge here. Yep, it's gonna go down. It's a leech. Shoot. There's a leech just grabbed onto my shoe. This is not the fun kind of scrambling. This is the scary kind of scrambling. It's just really wet and slippery. And the longer you hang out in the leaf litter, the more the leeches come out. Been stopping every few minutes to flick off leeches on our shoes. Spray some DEET on our shoes again? Fly, yeah. yeah. Alright, we're still working our way along this edge, and we gotta get over this slippery boulder. Alright, Jen's choosing to go around. Because this is wet. Yeah? Yeah? yeah. Alright. Go into the... Oh yeah. Because... You wouldn't be able to come down that. <laughs> Oh, 
I just gotta get up this. And then I think up there is the end. Here we go, look at this. There you go. That's a view. <sighs> there you go. Oh, what a pain. There's a Leech right there. I know, they're everywhere. I'll get up the deep. <sighs> Alright everyone, um, this is the boulder. It took us uh, 3 hours and 20 minutes to get up here. Again, that's just a little over 2.2 miles and a little over uh, 2,300 feet elevation gain. Um, this is not the end of our trip though, because we still have to go back down, and uh, we parked uh, near the beach down there on the Cape, so uh, we're gonna just cool off a little bit here, and then make it down, and then we're gonna give you all our final thoughts and, and all that other great stuff. But uh, before we do that, I'm just gonna spin you around here real quick and uh, show you some of the sights. Sound good, Jen? Sounds great. Okay. Okay, this is looking east. Uh, this is where the lookout is. Uh, on the other side of this is the Cape, uh, where we parked. Uh, but here's the shore where we came up, and Great Barrier Reef is way out there under the cloud line. And then if you pan south, you can see the true summit of Mount Sorrow up there, which you can make it to, supposedly, but there's no real view. So this is really all you need. All right, everyone, we are down at the beach for Cape uh, Tribulation. Sun is just now coming out. It's probably not gonna last. Uh, this is really beautiful here. It's a nice end to a um, one of the toughest hikes we've done, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, three and a half or three hours, 20 minutes to the boulder, um, two hours and 20 minutes down. It probably would have been only two hours if it wasn't for this. Uh, this is Jen's handiwork here. Um, I caught a uh, hook, a little, like a fine hook to the ear, and it pretty much uh, cut me open. So we'll go home and uh, fix that up. Uh, we saw a few snakes. Um, we saw the, uh, what is it, the uh, Capel, the ca Cassowan, or ca Worry, Cassowary, Cassowary? Oh yeah, Cassowaries. Um... Yeah, we saw the cassowaries on the way in. Peppermint stick insects. Ah, and we saw the peppermint stick insect. Uh, this guy was really big too. So that was a nice little highlight on the way down. Uh, but otherwise, eh, it was beautiful. Um, other than this, and the sun is coming out. Mm -hmm. All right, well, uh, oh yeah, water, um, water. I went through uh, three liters but I normally don't drink as much as uh, normal people do, it seems. Uh, Jen, you went through everything, right? Uh, yeah, I went through three liters. Mm -hmm. I blew my keg, um, I think we had probably another kilometer and a half to go. Oh, are you serious? Yeah. You should have told me I would've given you water. <laughs> well, I wanted, yeah. then I went to conservation mode and then I felt really sick by the time we got down to the car. Yeah. So don't, don't do that. Um, three to four liters, perfectly yeah. four. Yeah, I had four. I didn't tap into my reserves, uh, but otherwise, uh, we're gonna go explore the beach a little bit and then uh, get in the car and head back to uh, Port Douglas. Sound good? Yeah. All right. I'm just trying not to fall over. <laughs> yeah, we're sinking. All right, everyone. See ya. Oh, it's so spiny.
Oh, here he goes. 